Hello friends, this video on human health and diseases part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we are now going to talk about allergies. Now many of you would have uh, heard the term allergy because it is very common. Some of us get eye allergy, some of us get allergy due to dust or due to pollen. So let us see what exactly is allergy. So what is allergy? It is an exaggerated response of the immune system to certain substances. Now what happens is when the body is exposed to certain substances, the immune system overreacts. Now normally what happens whenever there is a foreign substance entering into the body, what happens? The immune system sends a response. Now for some special substances, the immune system overreacts while responding. So that exaggerated response of the immune system is seen as allergy. Now these substances to, for which immune system gives this kind of special response, these substances are known as allergens. Now these substances can be dust. Now you would have often seen that when uh, a sweeper sweeps the road which is extremely untidy what happens he he tends to put a mask on his face covering the nose so that he does not inhale those dust particles because that can cause allergy so similarly if you go to an area where there is lot of greenery lots of plants so the pollens are also more so due to the presence of those pollens many people tend to start sneezing some of them tend to get cold so all these things happen due to allergy so often it is seen that people try to cover the, their nostrils so that they do not inhale any of these substances that might cause allergy the substances that cause allergy are known as allergens now what are the substances that can act as allergens so let us look at some of the examples of allergens dust is an allergen you would have seen that even when you do normal dusting inside your house even that makes you sneeze so often pollen as i said just now perfumes now many people are allergic to perfumes not to all perfumes but to some certain smell of perfume that is why they do not uh, use too much of perfume because they tend to sneeze whenever they get that smell. That's because of those particles which actually make their immune system respond in an exaggerated way. Animal dander. What is dander? It is the material which is shed from the skin cells of animals. Now you would have seen that in case of dogs, their fur and all, even in case of cats, they tend to shed off that upper layer of skin. Now that also causes that also acts as an allergen and it can cause allergy. Bee stings. So that's why if a bee stings, what happens? You will see that that particular area gets inflamed and the person feels itching and that allergic reaction tends to take place. So these are some of the examples of allergens. Now the question is what causes allergy? Allergy is caused due to the release of histamine and serotonin from mast cells. So it is due to the release of these chemicals from mast cells. Now where do we have these cells? This is how a mast cell looks like. So from this cell when these chemicals like histamine and serotonin, this is this, this is the structure of histamine, this is the structure of serotonin. So when these are released that cause allergy. Now due to the release of these chemical substances, the allergic reaction which we can see See, that can be different for some people the allergy the allergic response comes in the form of sneezing for some of them they catch cold for some of them there is inflammation in a particular on a particular part of their body so the allergy can happen in many different ways now it is not only necessary that these the allergens which i had mentioned in the previous slide they are the only allergens there are certain food materials also which can cause allergy and they are very specific to each individual. For example, a certain person may be allergic to say brinjal. So whenever he eats brinjal, he tends to get some uh, burns on his body or some sort of pimples over his face. So those kind of things. So that is also a kind of allergy. So where you are allergic to certain food items. Now what are the symptoms and treatment for allergy? So symptoms it would include sneezing which normally happens in presence of pollen or dust, running nose, watery eyes. Now you would have seen that when something, irrit some irritant gets into inside your eyes, your eyes tend to, I mean a lot of water try start coming out of your eyes. 
breathing problems and treatment would include medication using anti-allergen drugs and also so this anti-allergen drugs are required when the allergy persists for a longer time. Now it has often been observed that let us suppose you go to an area where there is a lot of pollen. Now as soon as you reach that area, you tend to uh, have running nose or you start sneezing or you start coughing. Now all those things start to happen as long as you are in that area. But as soon as you come back from that place and uh, you return back to the same place where you were, where there is no pollen, gradually things settle down on its own so the allergy goes off on its own however in certain cases the allergy becomes too strong and then it lasts for a longer time so in that case anti-allergen drugs are prescribed so that is one thing now the question is how like as i said there are some people who are allergic to certain food items now how to diagnose that which particular food item caused a particular type of allergy so for that there are specific tests to find out what exactly is the person allergic to so in that case what is done is with the help of a needle different types of food items are insert injected into the body and in that particular area of the body the, the test is being done to check if there is some allergic reaction so it is actually a very time taking process but this is how it is done to find out if the patient or the person is allergic to a specific food item so this was about allergy. So allergy is has a relation to immune system and that is why we discussed about allergy here because it is nothing but a resp it is not a disease as such. It is just an exaggerated or a, a over reaction of the immune system. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.